to Kitchen with Nikki. Today I'm going to do something really fun because it's from my personal garden so I'm dying to make it. I'm making bruschetta and if you don't know what that is you probably recognize the word bruschetta. I have a hard time saying it. Bruschetta. Um, bruschetta is like a really good Italian appetizer or you can serve it you know when you have guests over, girls night, wine night. Honestly, it's the perfect combination of Italian ingredients on a baguette. And if you have some really good tomatoes, this is the dish to make. So without further ado, let me show you what we got. So I've been growing tomatoes and I'm so excited to use them. I didn't want to put any heat on them um, because I just want to taste the pureness of these. I put a lot of love in these. If you guys have a garden, you know what I'm talking about. So I have some tomatoes. You can use Roman tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, whatever you have. We also have some um, a basil that I also grow in my garden. How fun. My parents would be so proud. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My grandma would be so proud. And then I have a French baguette. Honestly, any baguette that you can get a hold of will do you really great. Um, get you some extra virgin olive oil. When making bruschetta, get a really good quality olive oil. Like, you really want to taste the goodness in there. Um, some oregano, garlic, of course, we're Italian, hello, and some salt and pepper. This combination of flavors is amazing. Any Italian would love this. You know, it just hits home on our taste buds. And you guys are like, wait, you're Italian? I thought you were Hispanic. I'm Sicilian. My father's Sicilian and my mom's Guatemalan. So we come from a family with a lot of food. My Italian side, my grandma was always cooking, growing vegetables and tomatoes in her backyard. And my mom's side is a bunch of just Hispanic Latin flavors. So... Hello, that's why Nikki's here and she loves to cook and she loves to eat. Hello, you know that. So we're gonna get our tomatoes, put your little stems out, and then dice these up. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I've literally been saving these tomatoes. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that like I did a poll of what I should make with these tomatoes and I knew that I wanted to make bruschetta but I just wanted to see you know what you guys thought and a couple of you answered bruschetta so of course I had to do it now let's get these little stems off of there um, a lot of you guys said like salsa lasagna spaghetti sauce but to be completely honest, like, I didn't even, I just wanted to enjoy the pure goodness of these tomatoes. So keep these um, diced pretty small, guys. You don't want big, big chunks of tomato. You want your dices, your tomato to be diced really cute and small. So on my Sicilian side, my grandma literally had so many tomatoes in her backyard and I would have never thought in a million years that I would be growing tomatoes like but here I am slowly turning into my mom and my grandma which is awesome my dad says I sound just like her she had a very raspy voice <laughs> rest in peace her beautiful soul I'm so thankful to just you know, have, have the time that I did have with her and the memories that I had as a little girl, like we would show up to her house and she had so much food, polenta, spaghetti sauce that was like, touch your heart and soul and desserts galore, biscottis, my favorite, you dip those in coffee. The memories go on. Okay, so our tomatoes are done. Let's go and add these to our bowl. Look at the color of those, my friends. Beautiful. 
Now some people drained the juice. If these weren't from my garden, I might drain the juice. But they are from my garden and I want every last goodness in there. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to take some of our freshly grown basil and if you guys don't have any basil um most of your grocery stores sell like fresh basil leaves of course you can use the dried herb but with bruschetta you really want to like really get the freshest ingredients the best ingredients and literally it's, it doesn't take a lot of ingredients so why not invest so the trick with basil let's see if you guys can see is pile them up kind of roll it just like so and then you're gonna chop it very finely this is also how you chop collard greens if you want to know some of the tricks so cut yourself up some basil and what this does is it makes ribbons nice ribbon and then cut your ribbon in half cool now we don't have huge ones now we're gonna add this yum to these tomatoes. Easy, guys. Look at those beautiful Italian Look. colors. Now we're gonna add to it. Think of the Italian flag. Take some garlic, smash it with your knife, smash it with your knife. Easy way to peel it. Skin will come right off. Bam, bam, bam. I'm gonna use two garlic cloves. If you're making, you know, quite a bit bruschetta for like friends and family, use three. Um, just depending on how many tomatoes you have. You don't wanna overpower it with garlic. It'll add that spice, it'll add all of the beautiful flavors that you need. Chop the ends off your garlic, nobody wants to bite into that. So mince these up very fine. Just take your knife, gather them, go right across, okay? Super easy. It's all in the flick of the wrist, girl. Right, so now let's add our finely chopped garlic and there you have all of the colors in the Italian flag. Green, white, and red. Just these ingredients alone, like literally you can cook anything Italian and be successful okay so now you want to add salt to taste now you know to each its own on your salt always start off with a little bit and then go for more because you can always add more salt you can never really take away so I'll do about that's like two teaspoons I did about a half a teaspoon of pepper bomb and then this is about one teaspoon or let's do two teaspoons of oregano when you add oregano to anything you really want to get those flavors going just rub it in your hand yum two healthy pinches of oregano now like I said add your really good um, olive oil and drizzle about three tablespoons on there and then oh my gosh I wish you could smell this Look at these beautiful colors just coming together. Straight out of your garden. Give that a nice stir, my friends. Make sure there's enough basil, garlic in every bite. And while this chills in the refrigerator, I'm gonna show you how to get your baguette ready. Your baguette, you wanna cut in angles because that's just a prettier presentation. You don't wanna just cut bam, bam, bam. You have more surface of bread if you cut it at an angle. All right, so just like that, look how beautiful. I cut these better than my mom. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so take a look. Now we're gonna get a really nice little toast on them. Just enough to toast them on the outside beautifully, but not, we still want them to be soft in the middle. So I'm gonna show you how I like to toast mine right over on the stove. So I have a little cast iron grill here that's been seasoned pretty well. If you don't have um, a cast iron grill like this, just put it in the oven, 375 for like five minutes, honestly, until it gets a nice little toast. Um, I like it on here because I try and get those grill marks on there. Toast these up for maybe just like two to three minutes on each side. 
Okay guys, now I'm gonna show you how to plate these. We're gonna add them to our beautifully toasted baguette and serve them up. Let's get a beautiful spoonful and add these on to each piece of baguette. My gosh guys, I wish you could smell this. Like the perfect combination of olive oil, my gosh, basil alone has so much of an aroma. So that mixed with the oregano, the olive oil, there's something about like the simplicity and the flavors of this that like honestly, I haven't met one person who doesn't try one of these and falls in love. So look how pretty and how easy, it's so perfect for your guests. You wanna impress your in-laws <laughs> or just girls night. And you know, when you need to bring an appetizer to an event, you're always like, oh my gosh, what can I bring? This is so easy to bring. It's so refreshing, especially when tomatoes are in season. So let me show you how to add the balsamic. What you're gonna do, this is a balsamic glaze and you're literally just gonna beautifully, lightly glaze them. That way your guests can choose if they want balsamic or not. And that's how we make some bruschetta, guys. Okay. You guys, we are all done. Thank you for making this with me. I hope you guys try and recreate this. I know you guys have tomatoes in your garden. I have seen. So if you make it, please tag me so I can check it out. I am dying to try this. So please let me take a bite. Um, I'm making a mess. Oh my God. The olive oil with these tomatoes that are homegrown, like it doesn't get any better. And if somebody doesn't take this away from me, I'm gonna eat the whole tray. Mm -mm -mm. You can have a glass of wine. Sit back, relax, enjoy your favorite little show. Cause that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Mm. Okay, let's try one with the balsamic. The balsamic gives it such a nice little kick. Mm -mm -mm. You guys see it? Mm. I love the balsamic. You can also add some mozzarella, mozzarella cheese underneath if you prefer that but guys this is awesome thank you guys for watching you're so awesome don't forget to like and subscribe so you guys can get some more of my recipes as i upload them bye